Hello everyone, today we're putting this Lux Care unit into a service test mode. Let's go ahead and get that started. So we're gonna go ahead and put this thing into the test mode. It's very important that when you power on the unit that the unit comes on into a normal cycle. It usually comes in a normal cycle or comes on in a normal cycle, but you have to check that first. So I'm gonna go ahead and power the unit on. It is in a normal cycle. We'll go ahead and press start to start that cycle then immediately power it back off. At this time, you're gonna power it back on, and to get it into the test mode, you have to hold your temp and select buttons, and then the unit goes into test mode. Okay, so now that the unit is in test mode, it starts out in test double zero. Test double zero always tests the LED sequences and also the audio. So you can test that by holding down any button on your display here. I'm going to press the temp button, you hold it down, the LEDs light up, you also hear the audio sound. The next test is going to be the pod valve test as well as the door lock test. So we'll go ahead and to get that set up into the next testing, all you have to do is turn your knob clockwise, heard the door lock, and you also can hear the hot water coming into the pods compartment. So moving on to test number two, um, here, door is still locked and it brings hot water into the unit. Now here on your display, you're seeing a value of the amount of water that pressure sensor now that is actually detecting the water and it will stop when it gets to 142. So go to test three, door is still locked, as well as you can hear the cold water coming into the beach compartment as well. So we'll move on to our next test. That will be test number four door still locked, as well as bring cold water into the softener compartment. It also utilizes the pre-wash valve and the bleach valve for this test as well. And we'll move on to our next test, test five, door still locked, and it's bringing water into the stain compartment. And we'll go to take six, now it's, it's filling up the wash compartment with cold water. So we're gonna sit here for a moment, wait for it to get to 142 before we move on to our next test. The unit did stop its feel at 142. A visual check, if you want to look inside of the glass, the water that's inside of the unit should just be just below the glass on the door. Go ahead and go to our next test. Now test seven unlocks the door, but since water is in the unit, of course it's not going to open the door. So we'll just move past this test. All right, so we'll move on to test number eight. Now in test number eight, it will test the pressure sensor as well as the motor it also energizes your heater, your thermistor, your door lock, and your drum light. As the heater energizes, you're gonna see the value increase on that display because it's changing the temperature of the water. Keep in mind, this is in Celsius. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next test. That'll be test number nine. Now test number nine is your recirculation pump test. So in this test, the water comes in from the top of the unit as well as RP will be displayed on the front dial. All right, so we'll move on to our next test, which is test number 10. Now test 10 is your concentrate wash pump test. This particular unit does not have one of those uh, parts, so that test is not valid for this unit. So the display shows no. For the next test, that'll be test number 11. And test number 11, we're energizing the drain pump, and also the unit will go into a high speed spin once the pressure sensor no longer detects any water inside of the tub. So right now, the number you're seeing on the display is how fast this tub is actually moving inside the unit and it usually operates around 1300 RPMs. 
So the next test is test number 12. Of course, this tests all valves and energizes all valves inside of the unit. So we're going to our next test, which will be test number 13. Of course, test number 13 just stores your last three error codes. We have no stored error codes, and that's why we're getting this particular message for this unit. Usually you'll see something there if the unit has failed before. So we have successfully put this Luxcare unit into the test mode. 